Now there's one knot that I want to have you pay particular attention to. Uh, all groundmen should know how to use this knot. Knot is actually a misnomer. It's actually it's actually a hitch. But there's a there's a knot they call a grunt knot, and it's a speedy, quick way of uh, fastening on equipment that you're sending up to alignment on the pole. Now I want to show you that knot. It's a little awkward at this location. But let me, sh let me show you. Let's say that I have a, a hand line here and that I have an object that I want to lift up onto the top of the pole. I would take one of my lines and what I'll do is I'll make a, a bite out of this. This, is, this is, a, is a bite. On the other side, I'll grab a hold of my line now and if I have an object I'm lifting, I'll, I would stick it in at this point here. I would stick it through whatever I could there. Then I'll take this line and then I'll wrap it like that. Now this, this is called a grunt knot. And of course your load would be hung right in at this point right here. Then of course what you can do is pull that up to the lineman on, on top of the pole. Then when you get it up to him, all he has to do is grab the object and then all you have to do is pull on this loop or pull on your line and the loop will come out of that round turn and then the line will be hanging onto it. Now, a knot like that will apply to many objects that you want to lift up on top of the pole. Maybe you have a, a bag or whatever the case you might be trying to, whatever you might want to lift up there. Or maybe, uh, maybe you're lifting uh, conductors. Uh, it's much handier to use a grunt knot like that than it is to use a hook in the line. Or maybe some, some have endless hand lines, some linemen like endless uh, hand lines, so they never have to worry about where the snap is or whatever the case may be. There is another way we can tie this to where it will truly be a knot, and that's to make a, a bite. In other words, go through with our uh, grunt knot like we'd normally start it. Make bite with a rock and a loop. Then if the load is particularly heavy, what you can do is run it around through and then make a bowling knot out of it. Now when you make a, a bowling knot out of, out of that, you see it would be particularly strong. The thing to keep in mind is that you wouldn't be able to then release it to the lineman by just merely pulling on the rope. It would be, however, much stronger and it, uh, it could be used for, for hoisting heavy loads. Now, we want to leave you with the thought that you want to work safe underneath a pole. When you're working a hand line for somebody on a pole, stand back away. Don't stand underneath to where objects could, could fall from the top of the pole. Now we'll come around this summer. I'll have rope along with me. We'll practice our knot tying and splicing on stranded rope. And then, of course, like I say, we'll, uh, the year after, the second year of the program, we will splice double braid rope. 